is Joseph from Gorilla 3D. Um, I got a fairly, I don't want to say complex question, but something that's been asked quite a bit, and it's something I've been meaning to and want to stream past. And that is, after you get your XAMPP server up, how do you get it to a .com? Shield.com, like GoDaddy, and then you need a name server. There's a free name server out there. It's called it's called um, bdns.upgrade.org. You can sign up there, and you know the everything else is free. You can add a domain. So basically, when you do add a domain, you just click on domains. It's currently slow a little bit. Um, Alright, and it tells you the name servers to use. So you got a name server 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you put your name in, it's going to be www.blah.com. I say continues to blah.com. And that's it. All you do is you click on the sign up link. Okay, apparently, blah's already in the system, so you can't do anything. Make sure you have your you already have your own .com, and then once you do that, you go ahead and put your name servers. Just copy it, and for like something like GoDaddy, which is me, you just put that um, into their name servers tab, and then you go to your domains. So you go to your domains, and you click on domains, and then you click on name servers, and then you put in their names so one, two, three, or four, and then you hit OK. Now it's going to take a little while to take an effect. But before you can even do that, there's going to be a little little thing that you have to do, and that is that after you after after you set up your domain and you hook it up to your your DNS here, you got to go back to your domains here, and then click on the domain that you added, and then click or click on the manage um, link. And here, as you can see, there's a couple of subdomains as well as domains. Um, the one we really want to look at first is bitshop.com that you just yourself at. So you go ahead and click on that, and as you see, there's an address here. This address is your actual IP to your to your um, ISP provider. Um, so if you have Cox at home, or if you have Yahoo, DSL, or something else like that, anything like Cox or not Cox, but it's cable or DSL in general, you're gonna have an IP that you can use. If you're on Windows, you can go ahead and click Start VPN, and you can uh, hit OK, and then you can type in ISP config. Now, if you notice here, um, my IP, which says IP address, it says it's 192.168.1.2. I mean, means I am on a private network. If you have IP that has 192.168 means you're on a private network. Um, so if you want to go ahead and get this actual IP address, you can just go to um, what is my IP address.com and as you see it now says your IP address. We can go ahead and copy and paste that into the address here. So paste it in there. And then you hit save. Um, and then you can go ahead and go back and do that to your www.domainname.com right here in the, in the other options. But even after you do that, you're still not done. You have to go to Apache now, uh, Apache configuration. And um, the only real way to do that is by going to the folder. So you can go to your XAMPP directory, which is in my C drive slash XAMPP and slash Apache and then slash COF and then you can edit to your HTTP dot pop and um, there's going to be a few things you have to look for first is your actual server name and as you can see I've inserted my IP address here and the port I want to use you can leave 
squeeze the port um, 80 and now I have to use this port here. The problem is most internet providers will block port 80 and you can't use that as your main uh, domain. Um, so yeah, um, so put your IP address here and then for the port, you know, you can always leave it so whatever. If it doesn't work at first, um, go ahead and type in port 80 and that's pretty much the next thing you can use. So you're going to have that there. And also, if you have this as port 8080, you have to change um, the listing to port 80 as well, not port 8080. And you go ahead and save that. And then you want to go ahead and restart your Apache. So you can hit um, stop and start. And then you should pretty much be good to go. So for example, if I go ahead and go to my one of my domains, like set up Sean, have to use port 8080 because my SP provider blocks port 80 and it takes me to my localhost. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now there's going to be a couple obstacles. One is that if you are behind a private network um, or more or less a router, you're going to have to forward the ports that you want to use with Apache. You have to pay MySQL if you want remote connections. Um, I'm using Netgear's As you can see, you know, if you have no gears, you and well, of course I can show you how to do this, but you just go to Linux and port 40. If you have some other kind of router, whether it's Greenlink or something else, just go to port, port 40. That's all you're gonna need. Um, and here you, you could either just add a service or use their own systems. Um, so they have HTTP here. That's fine. You can just go ahead and click on add service. at port 80 then you can type port 80 and then go and you want to do port 80 as well and where it says your server IP address now if you're behind a router like I said go back to your command line resell the IP address and you saw there there's a dot two for me that means that's my computer's IP address so you can type a dot two or a two and it'll ask you and then you hit a apply um, and you can do that as well as for your FTP Another thing is that even though this might work for you, you might want to have someone else try your domain. If it doesn't work for them, it might be Windows Firewall. So if you go ahead and go to start and switch by channel, um, if you're using Windows XP, you can go to Internet Connections and go to Firewall. But if you're using the classic view, you can just click on Firewall. You should leave it on, but you just turn that on. I'll leave it on after now. But then you go to exceptions and you can add port. And this is where you add port 8080. And then you can name whatever, like Apache. And that will let you run. Um, that will let you run that your server now and let people connect to it from the Windows firewall. And I think that's pretty much the extent of this. I went through it fairly quickly, there's probably going to be things you get stuck on that I haven't mentioned, but I try to do, I try to mention things that I got stuck on, and, um, yeah, also if you're going to use your fire, like fire Hila that comes with ZAP, make sure you open up that port as well, um, as you can see, I had to use, um, the, the default port was 21, um, and then I used their passive ports, which is port 80, also use Windows Firewall. Um, I just disabled it because it doesn't let me connect as much. Also, you might not have much luck with Mercury. Um, so as, as that's, fun, that's just for sending 